Okay, next we're ready for the line plot. So in order to create this line plot, we're going to use ggplot. We're going to pipe the data into the ggplot function. And we're going to set our mapping, our AES, to x equals year, month, because we want year, month at the on the x-axis, and y will equal revenue. Now, in practice, I don't usually specify uh, year, month, uh, or x, and, x equals and y equals. Um, x is always first, so I'm going to do year underscore month, and y is always second, so I'm going to do revenue. Um, if I specify a color or something like that, um, I will add those because those um, go into the dots that we'll learn about in functional programming, and you need to specify those. So if I hit Control and Enter here, we can see that the canvas has been populated, and we've got our year, and we've got our revenue um, axis formatted, and, and it's um, all set up for uh, showing some geometries. So let's add the geom underscore line. So geom underscore line, control enter. And we can see we've got our line plot. Cool. So uh, geom line has a bunch of different aesthetics that we can modify. So it's got, um, I'm going to add here uh, size, which is a common one. So if I set size equal to say one, Control enter it makes the line thicker um, if I set it equal to 0.5 which I believe is the default uh, for the geom underscore line it makes it thinner um, if we set uh, the line type argument line type equal to 2 this will make it dashed if we set it equal to 3 it's a different type of dashes with points and if we set it to four and so on it's all different types of line so if we set it back if we set it to one that is the what we had originally um, we can learn more about the line type argument by uh, or excuse me the um, the geom underscore line by doing question mark geom underscore line control enter and um, Basically what it is is a uh, geom path uh, connects the observations in the order in which they appear in the data. Geom line connects them in the order of the variable on the x-axis. So G geom line is 99.9% .9 of the time what I'm using. I'm, I almost never use geom path. Uh, geom step is a different version uh, which does steps between um, to show like the change that it's occurring. Um, I don't use geom step very often. So geom lines what i'm using um, these are the major arguments uh, i would say most of these arguments i don't really mess around with too much the um, the things that i mess around with are the aesthetics uh, which is like the size and the line type uh, also the color of the line um, and sometimes the alpha as well and here you can see some examples of the geom underscore line function being used all right so i'm going to go back to plots all right, so let's continue with this. So we want to add a trend line next, and we're going to do that using the geom underscore smooth function. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to add plus, and then I'm going to add geom underscore smooth. So let's just run it with the defaults. So the default is low s with um, formula y as a function of x. So what low s does is it's an interesting algorithm that tries to smooth out the, the line. Now, its, um, its defaults are a little bit tricky. Um, sometimes they don't uh, do so hot with uh, how, you, depending on what the type of data you've got, especially for time series. But um, what you can do is you can adjust different arguments that affect that low S smoother. So the, ar the argument that I'm going to um, apply is uh, this thing called a span. And what span does, if I set it equal to, say, 0 0.5, what it does is it makes it a little bit um, more variable or less variable. So if I make it smaller, so 0 0.3, and there it's starting to show a little bit of the trend. We might want to um, make it a little bit smaller just to smooth it out even more. And there we go. Uh, with 0 0.2, we get a, a pretty nice smooth, and that shows the trend line. 
Um, and you can see that we've got the standard error on there as well, uh, which I'll leave for this particular plot because it seems to do a pretty good job of, of catching, you know, the range of the error. Um, so uh, the other thing we'll do is if I do question mark geom underscore smooth. So that span argument um, is in the low S function. Um, so if you actually click on this low S here, and um, if you go to the, that uh, span by default is 0 0.75. So you can see that we're in the low S function that stands for local polynomial regression fitting. Um, and just think of it as a smoother again. And what we're doing is adjusting that span argument to better fit the data. Okay, so um, that span argument, and again, this is, uh, it's using, it's telling us that this method is low S, so we can even put that method equals low S in here and span equal to 0 0.2, and then that, that actually gets rid of that message um, because you've now defined what, uh, what method that geom smooth should use. Um, okay, so we are pretty much done with this plot. Uh, hopefully you found it interesting, um, and this is just one way that you can actually create um, a trend line that's non-linear uh, and does a good job of showing the uh, seasonality.